that a child can never forget the breast that gave it suckle. Oh yes, and he do. Maybe I am just beginning to understand the real meaning of that saying now. Oh yes, Odogu, Odogu Akataka. No kumwa uneti onwe. Oh yes. You are the great king of our mother kingdom. It is right to show you this respect. <laughs> exactly what I've been expecting from all the kings that rose in Idu to be doing all these years. <laughs> but strangely, strangely, they never saw the wisdom in doing that. Onyeze, this is one of the reasons I am here today to apologize to you on behalf of my predecessors who apparently forgot that if Abanabo Kingdom had never existed, that Idu Kingdom would not have had a name. Mm -hmm. You are just stating the fact. Onyeze. Yes. They never knew Nonye Buruchioza or Babu Omuyanosa. The people of Idu remain your loyal children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am here today to receive your blessing as the new king of Idu people. Why are you acting as if it is an abomination for a man to move in with his mother's people? You are not just a man. Abodike, you are a royal son of our land. Was. I was a royal son of our land. Until my father died and royalty was stripped off me. You two do not have anything to say. I see. I will take my leave now. Did you inform the king you are leaving the palace? Did you? I do not have to inform the king of my movement. I'm sure he was expecting it. And besides, his family will soon move in here. But he could try and get this right. We made Zeudé the king because he can take care of our kingdom better. Moreover, he is from a royal family. not part of the reasons why we rejected him. I think it is even better that he's leaving the palace. I'll be waiting for the king in the throne room. Onyeze I am very bothered. Bothered in the sense that traditionally you are supposed to be here on this courtesy visit. With your elders and cousins. <laughs> you said this yourself. That Igwe and Asanya failed to give Abanabo Kingdom the respect they deserve. <laughs> and even when it is not right, we gradually got used to it. <laughs> uh, you see. Those men you refer to as my elders served Anasanya for over 15 years. I need to confirm their loyalty to me before I bring them in. What do you think about it? You are going to make a wonderful king for Idu people. I am loyal. For you are a very wise man. I am loyal. It is very clear to me. I can see it clearly. I am loyal. And I'm making you one promise here and now. 
even as I swear on the sacred staff of Abanapo, that I shall give you all the assistance you need to succeed as King Gidigu. I am loyal. I am loyal. Oyeze, Odogwa Kataka. I am loyal. And I wish here and now to promise you too. And I promise that as long as I am on the throne, <laughs> Edo Kingdom will always submit to you as a king of our mother kingdom. Onyeze <laughs> Nidu. Onyeze Nidu. I am loyal to you. Onyeze Nidu. I am loyal. I personally have with your visit to him is that Igwe Zana Sanya was not comfortable with his Zembajaka. Why? Did no. you bother to ask him why he was uncomfortable with him? He, he didn't just trust him. In the history of his reign, has Ezembajaka for once or ever hurt any of our own? I think it was just instinctive. Instinctive? Igwe Zana Aswanya believed that Ezembajaka was not happy with the Edu Kingdom. Simply because the Edu Kingdom was making progress on its own. Ezana Aswanya was a great king. But he had his own limitations. We should not so quickly forget that. We are the children of Abanam. Has a mother ever hurt her own children? Can a mother hurt her own children? All they need from us is friendship, cooperation. And that is the only thing the two kingdoms can benefit from each other. And I am here to see to that. Onyeze, there's a situation. I would be So what exactly are you suggesting? We can use him now. The iron is red hot. Let us strike. I am certain you were the one that moved him to come and pay homage. He accepted by that singular visit that he is not even a king. That I am his king. And to be very sincere with you, I am very excited. <laughs> very excited. By that, are you saying we should pause what we planned? Are you already okay with what we've achieved? What we have achieved so far is only a glimmer of the target and you know that much. We cannot rest now. The target is for us to annex the entire Edo kingdom into our Banabo. That is where we are going. That should be the focus. And I want you to continue thinking on how we are going to achieve that. But 
Father, is it not too early for this? No time is too early. Will you stop interrupting me? Apologies, Father. Carry on, please. You need to know all you're supposed to know. You represent the first generation from me. You are my first son. And the tradition is that you rule after me. Then the throne goes out to another royal family out of the three. So what you are saying, Father, is that I will rule after you, but my son will not rule after me. Exactly. He will rule, but not directly after you. He will wait until the rotation of the throne comes back to Nzana Sanya's family. Ever since the Edo Kingdom separated itself from the suppressing hand of Abanab, it became very important that anyone that mounts this throne is a strong man. And you are an evidence of that, Father. Yes, my father gave me the required training. Same training I have been given to you all your life. You owe this kingdom the responsibility of passing the same training to your own son when he comes. The sustainability of the kingdom lies in the hands of the occupants of the throne. What are you doing here? That is not the right greeting for your king. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I have come to talk with you. What do you want to talk to me about? Running off to this place. Why? Why? Insulting my father, the great man of Idu. Finally taking the crown away from me. Why? The throne was not taken away from you. I am from one of the royal families of Idu kingdom. Your father should have told you that. Oh yes. He told me that. Good. Good. But do you know what else my father told me? No. He told me that the throne circulates amongst the three royal families. Two generations in a stretch. You don't have anything to say now, do you? You have to come back to the palace. You belong there until you build yourself a befitting heart. A heart that befits your status. A heart that I would have built as king, right? Now that I will no longer be king, how do I build that heart? I have always known you as a responsible man and a son of Idu land. Why are you sounding like someone who is not bred in royalty? What are you doing? Tell me, what exactly are you doing here? Because we all know that you do not care. You never cared. So stop holding unnecessary pretense. Go back home to your people. Rule them well. That is all my father ever wanted. If you want it that way, good and fine. At least, I've tried to help. I've tried to help.
should I be the one telling you about it? Exactly why I would not believe you. I know Agodike is broken at the moment. But it's not enough to drive him away. Mm. Okay. If you say so. I want us to change this topic right now. Chinozo. You're not joking. I joke a lot, right? Does it mean my father does not know? Because he hasn't said anything about it. Your father was there when the throne was taken from Abodike. Why would he care? Don't go there. Your own father was equally there. And Abodike is supposed to be your friend, right? Or did he forsake him when you learned he would never be king? Don't be ridiculous. You know Abodike is only but my friend. Mm. I have a man I'm getting married to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where could he possibly have gone to then? Oh, you're ready to know now. How, how did you find me? How did you find this place? Oh, you did not expect anybody will ever find you. Was that why you left? Hmm? You left. You left without telling me, your dear friend. Oh, have I stopped being one? Well, I... I had to do what was necessary. No. You had to do what was easier. You ran away. You ran away without telling me. Why? Look, I guess I didn't tell you. I didn't tell anyone I cared about because it was easier that way. Listen to me. You have to come back home. You don't belong here. My mother's people are equally my people. Okay? They have, they have treated me well. They have welcomed me with open arms. I find peace and happiness here. Truthfully? You find, you find peace and happiness here? Listen, I'm okay. My dear friend, my darling friend, don't ask me to come back. Because I will not. These people, your mother's people, do they know the real reason you're here? Do they know you ran away from what you should have faced. Did they? You know, I once had a friend. A very, very dear friend. She told me... She told me my life was worth much more than the throne. And that friend happens to be you. I understand all that you're saying. But it still does not make it right. I do not have anyone to speak for me there. No one. What would you have me do? Come back to the palace and, and fight over the throne with, with Nzeude's sons? No. By the way, the title has changed. He is now called Ezu Densi. My apologies. I meant no disrespect to your king. 
Of course you'd know I was joking. Listen to me, Akuti. People are talking. Most of us know you are supposed to be king after your father. But not with you living here. How do you plan to fight for your right whilst here? I'm not planning to fight for anything. Eh? No. As a matter of fact, Monani suggested, suggested that I come here. Monani! I should have known. And he controls your life. How could he say such a thing? I came here only because I believed that I should. That is why I came here. And my mother's people are treating me just fine. They're treating me well. You, you see this hut? They gave it to me. My grandparents used to live here. And then their only son built another hut somewhere, so he gave this one to me. Listen, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. What about your man? I'm not sure he'll be very happy to hear that you came all the way here to see me. Amodike, it is you I am worried about. I don't see happiness with you living here. You are all alone. Can I visit you sometimes? If we're meant to see, then we'll see. I tried. How is he? I tried all I could. Gave up the ghost. Hey! You can Let the look what's falling. The dark cloud has covered the skies of the dew. Our ancestors. Where? You are not just an Ishir in this land. You are a great one Ishir. One that works very close with the king. There That's are certain things you cannot joke with. But, but my king, I wasn't joking with it. I know how important this thing is to you. How is this possible? We are talking about a man that was made king only seven days ago. How could he have died? But they, they said he took ill. And by the time they brought the medicine man to come and take care of him, he died. What is going on? Come on, Amu. Ugo, don't tell me you have become this reluctant. Don't tell me that. My king, we had a plan. I was working on it. He 
Is something wrong? The new king of Idu died this morning. No, he didn't. I didn't see it. Ugo, are you, are you responsible for this? What? You are, you, you are tired already. You want this entire process to, to end as almost immediately. Is that why you killed the man? I am not tired, my king, and I did not kill him. Never thought of it. But he died this morning. I was going to use this man. He was the best instrument available for me, Ugo. Why must he die now? We will find a way around it. Listen to me. This is a very critical time. A very critical time in our history and in our mission. And I need you to find whatever information you can find. What? Why must he die after seven days? Why didn't I say it's coming? Listen, Ugo. You have to do me a favor. Go back to your deity and find out why she's no longer revealing things to you. Yes! Ask her to explain if there is anything she needs to go back to the powerful deity we used to know. Let her say it and everything must be provided. Let me tell you something. I must, as in, I must annex the entire Itu kingdom back into our Banabo. And I need your deity to achieve that objective. Now you go and call it work. I am amazed for this visit by the elders. You have never consulted me for anything since Ezin Zana Sonya died. Onan, please, it is not the right time. Do you even realize what has befallen us? Your newly king, crown king, died. So I heard. Seven days after mounting the throne. Seven days. <gasps> even the medicine man could not give the sudden illness to give me a name. That is why you are here then? To know the name for the illness that killed him? Yes! We have been to three other known seers in and out of Yudu. Since yesterday, this calamity befell us. None of them has been able to tell us what happened. Please, we want to know what is going on. And as it is, you are our last hope. Hmm? Yes. Of course, I will tell you what the gods have shown me. Which I assumed you already know. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. We cannot be moving about seeking for an answer if we had already gotten one. Uh, 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 please, we want you to assist us with one. What happened? Why did he die seven days after becoming the king of Idu? First, a home, and now, this piece of land. Mm. 
if you decide to move in with my family, the offer will still remain open. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have given me hope for another good life. Your mother, my sister, will do the same and even more for me. Let's go. I still have some things to show you at home. Really? Yeah. Men like you. Men like you are rare. Don't allow those tears to drop. For they are not necessary. You did the right thing to have come to your mother's family. The whole world will surely reject you. But your mother's family will never reject you. I do not understand what I just said. It is still fresh. Our late king, Igwe Nzana Swanya, died a natural death. And since when did it become our tradition not to give a befitting burial to a king because he died a natural death? Even a child would have known that your rash actions and silly negligence will result to something that is evil as what is happening. Bonane, are you saying that the mysterious death of our new king is as a result of... For five years, the throne must be empty. That is the vengeance that the spirit of our late king if not, anyone that sits on the throne must pay with his life. <coughs> Mpona, you have a head over not just us, but on every other fear in our land. We don't see these things with you. Please tell us, what do you mean? Not what I mean. But what the gods Let Igwe Izama Sanya must be mourned for five years. After which, a new king sanctioned by the gods will emerge. Listen, elders. If I say anything today on this issue, Know he that I am not the masquerade of it. Give my name to the Lord. God, you were not home. What are you doing here? I brought you good news. If the news is about Idu Kingdom or from Idu Kingdom, then I'm sure it is not good news. There is a dark cloud hovering over that place. I see no good coming from there. Dark cloud? Does it mean he's already aware? Are you okay? What news did you yes, from Idu? Yes, uh, he's is dead. Well, it's not exactly good news, but, but come to think of it, the gods are fighting for us already. The gods reacted rather very early. The kingdom just lost a king. Why exactly are you happy? Justice! Justice is finally done, Agbadike. They stole the throne from you. He was not supposed to sit on it. 
Thank you for bringing the news. Well, the elders of our land have gone to see Mbonani in search of answers. You and I know what the answer would be. It's time to come back home. No. I am not coming back. Listen to me, Abodike. The gods are with you. Our land needs you. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. Look, I live here now. I am happy here. And if the land needs me, you definitely will not be the messenger. <sighs> Listen, I'm okay. I appreciate your friendship. I truly appreciate your, your care. But I'm trying to build something here. I'm trying to build a home. I'm trying to be happy. I would really appreciate it if you stop. I need to be alone this time in my life. I hope you understand. I'm coming from your hut. And your mother said that we left the hut since morning. Where have we been? I went to Mokbaleri to see a friend. Oh. You now have a friend at Mokbaleri. Do I know her or him? It's a he. And yes, you know him. Even, even when he lives far away at Mokbaleri. You still prefer his company to mine. Eh? I'm okay. Where did I go wrong? What has he done to you? What? Onyo Melonando, if we must go over this again, Abodike is only my friend. I have known him long before I knew you. He might have been your friend from the womb. I don't care. But I am your man. I'm going. told me that Abodike was just a friend and nothing else. What are you driving at now, mother? If your friendship with Abodike is affecting your relationship with Onyo Melanando, then it's not proper. Let's not worry about non-issues, mother. My father not back from their visit to Bonan. He came back. He left for a meeting with the men. 
What was the outcome? Not too clear to me, but from the little he said before he left, I think he too may not have a king for a long time. Yes. What? Why is it that whenever we are close to achieving something, we'll always, always encounter a stumbling block? Five years without a king? Who is willing to wait that long? My king, you haven't said a word. I've not said a word because I am a winner. Winners are those that don't give up. No matter the challenges that come, they don't give up. We needed to work with a king. We needed to capture a do through their king. The man that they trust. The man that we can manipulate through the mystic powers of Awanabo. Or maybe we do not even need a king after all. Maybe we just move in and take over the entire land of Idu. And that is exactly what you have been avoiding all those years. Oh, you wanted to be diplomatic. Is violence the best way now? And who is talking about violence, my dear Ugabonambo? You know, most times, when you reason, it baffles me that your level of reasoning is not anything near your level in the spiritual. We shall wait for a do, but maybe not for five years. I have a plan, a plan to take over the entire Edu kingdom. And I need you, my dear Ugabana. I need you to execute that plan. Didn't have the chance to help them back. See, the family you're talking about still have few members living. But I still believe that the family that helped your generation no more. It doesn't matter. I, I only need to appreciate them. Anyone in that family will do. It doesn't stop you from anything. As you can see, my people are welcoming. I need help locating them. Now I see why you invited me here. Yes. I want you to help me locate them. Maybe see if you can bring the eldest amongst them. Please. Bonan. Bonan is the eldest. <gasps> and I hope you have him to tell you about your future. Yes. Yes. I can't wait to see him. I have a gift for him. You will have to give him the gift before you bring him. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. Did you see Janaka? Not to worry, I will bring you some more. I still cannot believe you made me eat the food with you. Look at you. Deny that you did not enjoy it. Of course I did. Ah. <laughs> it's just that why you could not find it funny. And who said she has to know? Is that a promise? Well, I am a man of very few words. My lips are sealed forever. <laughs> Thank you. I have to get going now. I've spent much time with you, you know. Okay, um, I'll, I'll see you off. You can't even wait to see me gone. Huh? Uh, says who? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I, I really feel very bad. 
for keeping you longer than you plan to stay. So, fine, I'll sit. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. See me your first and then you can come and sit. Okay, that's, that's all I do. <laughs> sit. <laughs> sit. So, don't say that. <laughs> Are you going to open that or you need help with it? I heard about the arrival of a certain woman. But little do I know that I have this kind of connection with her. And what is it that they say this time around? Eh? It's a small world though. Indeed. Eh, eh, you know, it's good to be good. Because if our people were not good with Okita and the family, she wouldn't have come back with her delicious meals. Look her. Little things marvel you. What is so special about her food anyway? I hope she is not adding some kind of portion in her food. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> you know, enemies are everywhere. Enemies. Keep our kingdom where it is today. We need to be careful. Uh, are you going to open that or because I know how I fought temptation of opening that on my way. So are you going to open it? What was that for? Holy, eh? please, don't play this kind of game with me anymore. Ah. Don't. It's very risky. I almost unleash a heavy blow on your face. Ah. <laughs> Biko, what I saw right now was you almost jumping out of your skin. See, there's a heavy tension in the land. And it's very risky you sneaking up on me. Please. That's don't try it. exactly why I'm here. Because of the tension. <laughs> you chose the wrong venue. I am sorry. I've been looking for you. I have been searching for you all over the place. Until some people told me they saw you entering one and his compound. So I decided to wait for you here. See, Mugi, you know how jealous your man, Unyo Melonando, can be. Please, I still want to be alive. I'm okay. Ndoka! 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 I, 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 I don't understand why I'm, I'm, I'm standing here taking this risk, discussing with you on the road. Ndoka, talking to me is not risky at all. But entrusting your life in the hands of a stranger is. Yeah? Pardon? I am talking about the woman you have been patronizing. I don't know what you're talking about. Indeed, Yamaka is the only woman in my life. And I'm not even patronizing her yet. Don't play dumb with me, Nduka. I saw you. I saw you earlier today when you were going there to... Oh. Eh. <laughs> okay, then. Why your money is here? Oh. <laughs> hmm. What did you know about her? She's the best cook in this town, especially Onubu soup. That is all there is to know about her. Really? Yes. And two, she's not a stranger, mind you. She lived here in this town with her family when she was younger. Mm. Well then, you seem to know so much about her, so tell me. What does she want here? Doesn't your father know the answer to this question? Of course he does. Hi, Mama. Hello. Doesn't 
presence of a maiden make you uncomfortable? No. Far from it. <laughs> Onyinye is a good maiden and um, I can even... I can spend a whole day with her. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm just trying to say Onyinye that... Onyinye uh, is an offer. She has been living with us ever since her parents died. She has no blood relationship with us. Is that so? I can see how relieved you are to know that she's not our blood relation. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> hmm. See, you need to make yourself happy. No matter what happened back at it. You are surrounded now by people who truly care for you. And always remember, eventually, you will go back home to your people and make your own family. Meanwhile, you have to make a living for yourself while you are here. Before you go back home, whenever that will be. Come on, let's go. The workers must be waiting. Where have you been this evening? I was with the Diambaka and Chinoshu. After you came back from? Where is my father? He left already. Has my father said anything about that strange woman? This strange woman? Yeah? Stay in the house. I'm running late for women's uh, evening meetings. Stay in the house. I'm coming. Mama, eh, I'm coming back now. Ha! Why isn't anybody... I know that Opala Ma's wife is a good cook. But I want to ask him a question. Ever since you got married to your wife, has she ever given you such great food before? <laughs> you are very right. I cannot deny it. She has never. Opala Ma. Your wife will be so disappointed in you if she hears this. <laughs> you know, I'm sure all of you here will say the same thing because I know your wife's food. Yes. Okay, it's okay. surely a cool from the gods. What is that look on your face? Ndoka. These are practically all the responsible men in our kingdom. Yes. Are you shocked they discovered her before the Almighty here? What are they doing here? <laughs> Eating here? It's your head off! Married men don't do this kind of a thing. Well, you and I are not married. So, let's go. Shall we? <laughs> we can see the testimony written all over you. Your grey hair that used to be very brown before is gradually turning white. Hey, what about you? Look at your tummy, it's going out by the day. <laughs> hey. 
Let's go. She has seen you. Are you coming with me? Oh, <coughs> oh you are wonderful. Okay, where is my old food now? Going to continue standing here. I will not. No looking at those men. I don't trust them. I can tell them that they are here to finish all the food. What should I do? Keep smiling. Maybe you start with a smile. <laughs> smile, smile. I shall be with you soon. Hurry up and bring my. Okay, you You came with him? Yes. I always do what I promise. <laughs> Welcome, Unai. Did you get my present? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, uh, I did. That is why I am here. I say thank you. Please come with me. Ah. Just come there. Smile. 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 You do not know how helpful you've been to me. You will benefit a lot as time goes on. And my people, what is there for them to benefit? I do not understand. A lot of us, especially the maidens, they have your concern over your arrival. They are worried because some believe that you have an ulterior motive for coming. <clears throat> well, do you also believe that? I want to trust you. I am connected to you. But what of Monan? What about him? It seems you're doing everything to gain his trust. You made him a gift. I saw how you treated him today. Or are you finally going to allow him into the woman in you? <laughs> because it, 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 it seems I, 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 I was a fool making myself the bearer of your message to him. You are my first contact here. You welcomed me with love. As for Bonani, I told you already why I made him the gift. I am done with him. You will be the only close friend I will have here. And like I said earlier, you will benefit a lot from being friends with me. I need to experience not only your food. I need to grace the main thing. When will that be? And what is going on in this head of yours? Hmm? Like I said earlier, you are my friend. So erase whatever ideas you're having in there. I am... I am sorry if I embarrassed you with what I said. No. It's okay. I'm not embarrassed. But you look like you are. 
I'm sorry, okay? I mean, the last thing I want to do is make someone like you feel uncomfortable. Abodiki, stop talking. I feel the same way about you. I mean, which medium would not want to fall in love with you? You know, you are the first maiden that I have allowed myself to love. I'm just an orphan. You are royalty. Someday you would return to your people. You know, I always tell people to to live each day as it comes. Can we do the same with our relationship? You are not just good looking. You are a man of great wisdom. I really appreciate you and I will always do, always. Nine. Through the powers you gave me, I've shut the eyes of the seer towards me. It was my greatest concern, but now I feel relaxed. Now you have no excuse to hurt. You are free to leave among them. And do we day whatever we wish. We must work together to make your king happy. I know he is worth every sacrifice. Please guide me more. Time is all that we need. You have a good time. But it will take time. Before the effect of what they eat from your hands takes over time. For how long? Until they desire a king to rule them. At that time, they will have been too weak to resist Ezra Majaka. All of them just keep on spreading. I am with you all the time. My king, please pardon me. I feel left out. I know I am under oath never to betray you. You dare not. Y yes, my king. But please, I want to find out why is Ugo in Udu kingdom? Am I no longer the refathers and Pajaka of Abanabo? My king, who is contesting that with you? You are the king of kings. You are the head of all principalities in all our kingdom. Oh, my king. I must reverence you. Um, but my king, why is you go there? Nani, you say you bang us and listen. It may be long in the eyes of the ordinary. But in the eyes of Ezembajeka of Abanabo, it is just like tomorrow. Oh, yes. I am out to correct the blunders of our fathers. Hmm. They granted you do independence in error. Hmm. I do not believe in that independence. I am going to annex it to back into this kingdom. Udogu. On that note, hmm. Ugo is there in it too. As who created of Ibu Titi. Hmm. Cooking their soul back into this land. Odogu. Listen, you hmm. hmm. It will happen soon. I mean, very soon. It's in Daisy. Hey! Odogu. Odogu. Oh. Mm. 
Odogu! Oh, Your days will long. I nurtured you to be cruel. I nurtured you to be a ruler. I nurtured you to be a man that everyone will reckon with. Is that what you are doing here, lying down? You have wasted away all these years. I ask you, is this the end for you, my son? been happening occasionally in the past two years but has become more frequent recently I hear him I see him speak to me but doesn't look like doesn't look like I'm dreaming your father was a great man and I am certain he's still powerful in the spirit world So what does he want me to do? Even the enemy knows that you have a place amongst your people of Idu. It is possible your father wants you to go back and take that place. Uncle, you're, I'm sure you're joking. You can't be serious. The so-called people, my people, do not even want me. It has been five years since I have been here and no one, not even one single person has come to look for me. You can never be who you are created to be outside your roots. Here, this, this is also my roots. Yes, we are your people. But here is not your. You must return someday. It is possible that the time is now. You are a man now, Agodike. Five years experience is massive. You may need to give your father's visit. Of yourself. Why should I be ashamed of myself? Why? Why does that go? And I hope everyone is just a job of an hour. Simply because I opted to eat good food instead of the poison you served me. You call my food? Poison. Yes! You call my food? Poison. Of course, yes! Let me remind you, I have fed you the same poison for 28 years and you never lost your senses, have you? And if this is how it feels to lose one's senses, I want to tell you, I am fine with it. I am fine with it. Go ahead and make yourself more useless. Because you are a useless man. And I will stop. The day you learn to cook half the way she does. Let me tell you, in case you don't know. Oki Tofu Yubayotiti is a cook with the word of the God. He try it. If you try it. Listen, listen. Odisak, before you get to think about it, I've already become what you would not know I will be. And what are you still doing here? Go to her house and eat her food. Can you go away, man? Of course I will go. Oh, yeah, you better tell you one more time. And I have to ban the chores of Jimmy Ban and Wabu. You will eat and get satisfied in way big tummy. Useless man. What is the problem? 
five years. Ndoka, five years after my visit to Boba, what is happening to us? I don't know. You know, I have been patient all these years because I believe in you. But I'm tired of my man treating me like I'm non-existent. Then as you can see, the whole thing is not working out. Why don't we tell ourselves the truth? Why do you think we are not meant to be? Because of her? Okay, Tse. Oh, you know, I grew worried when I discovered how close you became with her. But you promised me it was nothing. Anyway, I don't have time for this, your big headache this morning. Hmm? Just go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe she's the one meant for you. For me to annoy you. But I was coming to be with you. I'm going out. Can't you see that? no longer stay in my parents' household. My father and my mother will not quit fighting over that woman. I... What was that for? As you can see, I am a bachelor. I cannot cook all the time. I must eat anyway. I must eat. I will cook for you. Whatever you want, just name it, I will cook it. No! You cannot cook like her. There's no money in town for you. do kingdom that like cook anything like that. Not even you. Did you just say that? I mean every word of it. Go home. Or better still, stay here if you want to. Excuse me. Where am I, Mama? I saw it coming. I tried to stop it. But no. Nobody was concerned enough to listen to me. How was anyone supposed to understand that something like this was going to happen? How? Almost all the homes in the kingdom lack peace because of her. Our parents fight all the time because of her. Our parents? Why go that far? Look at us. Look at us. The three of us went to Ugwoba together in preparation for our marriages. It has been five years. Five years after. And what is the story? Tell me, what is the story? Luka has practically become Okite's wife. He hates to even set eyes on me. No. I think I discuss him. Yes, I do. And you, Chinonso, why are you still in your parents' house? Where is Asubike? The man that once worshipped the very ground you walked upon. Where is he? I have lost this heart to the same Okite. 
and to add salt to injury. My own father insults me because I am yet to be married. I guess that is our fix. If we could do nothing when we possibly could, if we could do nothing when we were skeptical about her, what can we possibly do now that they all love her? I think there's still something we can do. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe we could bring this to an end. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. But you will have to do that on your own. I'm okay. Wow, what do you want? It is five years since she moved in there and the king is shutting us out. Are you not bothered? I'm not. Because the king is not shutting us out. Well, anyway, he's not shutting me out. Eh? So, if the king is not shutting you out, do you mind sharing with me what is going on? I mean, what is she doing there? Wow. Some information don't come that cheap. This is not the way you wanted it. They should come for you. I know. But Uga Malunam, who thinks I should go? You are an adult. You should make your own decisions. I've lost touch with my people. If I wish to regain my position someday, I should keep in touch with my people. If you must get your position back. Are you finally interested in the position? I thought you said it does not matter. I mean, we've known each other for, for about five years now. Don't you think it's time we built a, a more meaningful relationship together? I was told to live for the moment by you. And yes, I would love to build a more meaningful relationship with you. But I don't believe it depends on you going back to Idu. Maybe it does. Maybe, maybe the reason you and I are not yet married is it's because I still live here. Just maybe. I thought I made myself clear the other time. This is our fight. <laughs> this fight, if there is any, is for the men. The men, you say. The same men that have lost their minds to her. Well, perhaps, if anybody had listened to me earlier on, our men wouldn't have lost their minds. Oh. Greetings, Nai.
we are all affected in this. We will never have our men back if we don't take this step. Mm -hmm. Please, think about this. If it makes you change your mind, meet us at the square at sunrise tomorrow. Amogi, listen to me. You cannot separate yourself from this. I already have. Don't expect me tomorrow. What is funny about this? What is not so funny about it? But wait, what is so interesting in this that you 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 wish to give away that thing you love most? Eh? At least I I, I I give it away, you have it. I lose, you gain. The most important thing is that someone gains. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Mba, mba. That that sight. That site is wonderful. That piece of land is your life. Yes, I liked it, but... I, I, now, you have it. Yes. Let us do the exchange. You give me your piece of land inside the bush. Then I give you mine by the roadside. Just tell me what I need to know. Well, yeah, yes. You seem so serious. Very serious. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, I don't. I'll be fine. It's a long journey. You need company. Hmm? I came here all alone. Remember? Listen. I'm only going to... to check out the land, to see what it looks like. It's been a long time, but I will come back to you soon. As you can see, I do not even have any luggage. Take care of yourself for me, okay? I will. I'm not disappointed to see you here. I knew you would come. I knew I couldn't do it. I'm so happy you made it at last. You're welcome. What's the plan? 
very simple. Idu is the only land we can call ours. And it is written boldly on the wall that our men have lost it. So it is our duty to fight for our men. Have I spoken your minds? Yes. It may not be a fight in the real sense of the word. But we need to make a statement that will go far into the land. Exactly. The maidens are ready. Yes, yes we, we are, are ready. ready. And we cannot stop them now. Why is she? Okay, tell her whatever it is you're called. Come out and face us. Where is Oki? He's in the house. Come out and face us. Show your face. We are here to see you. Oki, tell there she is. Come, 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 come. Come! Look who we have here. The maidens of Idu Kingdom. I'm glad you can recognize us. Of course she should. After all, she dies and whines with our men. By the way, I am Ndoka's woman. Oh, Nduka. Oh, Nduka, such a generous young man. Generous with what exactly? You know Azubike, right? Right? He is my man. Yes. Onyo Melonando is my man. Nzaumozo is my father. And all these maidens here have one thing or the other in common with you. Yes. yes. It is either their men or their fathers. I see. So what brings you here? <laughs> um, let's say we have come to eat from your wonderful pot as well. And have the taste of what our men die for. I am sorry, for it's rather too early to serve you food. No problem. We can wait. Yes, yes. we can wait. Yes. <clears throat> then it has to be a long wait then. From Buzé the Hunter is yet to supply me with the meat and save yourself the explanation, for we do not mind at all. Or do we? No. no! You heard them. Calm down. We are here for you today. Mm -hmm. All day we'll be here. Mm -hmm. We wish to have all of which you have been feeding our men with all these years. Go and bring it. Except you want to tell us that the food you cook is only for the men. Pity. For I do not have any food for you poor maiden. Ah! What? Maybe next time. Really? And you may leave now. <laughs> Stop there. You have no right to walk out or not. And we we'll leave when we want to. Yes. yes. This is our land. Remember? What exactly do you want? What is my own with you? My friend, go and cook. Go and start cooking now. Okay, say off you wait till your whatever it is you are called. You must cook today! Yes! Go and cook. Idu Kingdom, my land of peace and my place 
of fortune. It is indeed good to step foot on you again. Why would have scattered your stupid useless soup? This is exactly what your useless princess has done to us. The same way it scattered our arrangement we already have in place with our men. Red. <laughs> Are you losing your mind? <sighs> because this is exactly how we have lost our positions in the lives of our men. Yes. <laughs> Same way our mothers have lost their position with our fathers. Oh yes. Are you maidens testing my vision? Shut that your stupid cut a cord mouth. You are very stupid to sell this to our face. Indeed. What would it do to us? Fight off? Bring it on! Bring it! Why do we have to waste more time with this liar? Did you not say you had no food? Mm -hmm. yes. You said that Mbo the hunter was yet to bring you dry meat. Mm -hmm. Now look at it. Look at it. We have wasted all that you have. What can you do? What? <laughs> Go ahead and scream. Scream some more. I know what it feels like to lose what you value there. Scream! Give up more scream! Scream! Oh, scream! Oh, Menace, let's go! grown up and you look good. Thank you. <laughs> Abudike. What? All these years, I never believed you could abandon your people. Your own people. My own people, you say. <laughs> Who is she? Someone you shouldn't know. Someone the maidens of Idu land would never allow you to meet. Yeah. But but I, I think I know her. You don't. I've, I've seen her face. Trust before. me, you don't. You don't. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Look at you. <laughs> Oh, yes, enough. 
That is what our land has turned into since you left. Our men have lost all that it is that makes them men. Yes, five years is a long time. But not enough for this kind of mess. <laughs> what do you expect? What do you expect from a land that has no king? You are part of this problem. What? <laughs> How can you say that? How can you link me with this? I am linking you to it because there is no other option to link it to. Yes! You left. I was very convinced. I was very sure it was you, the gods of our land, wanted to be our king. But what did you do? You ran away. Oh, come on, Amoge. Don't. Please. Do not twist this and make me start regretting my actions. I did not run away. I did what was right. What was right? One. See where your right has landed us. Look, I do not see how anyone can blame me for all this that is happening. I don't. So, why did you come back? What am I asking for this? Because I know what I want. Look how they humiliated me. Is that okay with you? Do not lose focus. You are not here for the demands. Change of plans. I wish to keep them away from me. They have started and I know they won't stop. And you want to kill them? In the easiest way, yes! Do not say no. Please, do not abandon me now. Just give me what I wish for. I wish to crush those maidens. Just, just, just grant me this, please. Every one of my did not ask for any life, so I will do no such thing. Forget about the demands. Focus on the men. Get to them like you already started. When all their minds are in our hands, you will find out that the demands are not endure for a while. Are you referring to me? You must be the leader of those stupid maidens that went to destroy her place. You have already gone to her this early. Huh? And she has already briefed you and here you are, shouting at me. Without even asking me to equally brief you. Shame. What is, what is, I am not surprised. I am not surprised. You always make her lose her senses each time you are around. And I'm convinced that it is because of you that she did what she did. did because of me, she did what? I don't understand. We had peace when you were gone. And now you've stepped in only to cause only to cause these stupid madness 
to attack an innocent woman. Leave Abodike out of this. He knows nothing about it. Why should I leave Abodike out of it? I would leave him out of it. He gets into your head and he makes you lose your mind each time he's around you. Was he not the one that is the cause of the problem you always had with Onyo Melonando? Was he not the one? Isn't he the reason you are still in my house, wasting my resources? Listen, I'm okay. By now you should be in Onyo Melonando's house as his wife. I'm okay. Please, it's obvious I have to leave now. I knew it was a bad idea coming here in the first place. I shouldn't have come here. Bodike, please don't listen to my father. He has lost his mind. I was telling you about that, remember? Still, you have to leave. I have to. Let him go. Let him go. We don't need him. Listen, he has lost his place forever. And <laughs> did you actually tell him I lost my mind? No, no, no. I'm okay. Did you? Timbonani, what I, I know we're expecting, expecting nothing less than success. Soon. The new king will emerge. I can't wait to set my eyes on the new king. Why? Are you planning to be his queen? Are you willing to let me go? You have to leave, both of you. I will see you later, I promise. No. No, Abodike, that's not the point. As long as the reason for this meeting has something to do with that woman that I spotted in this village from day one and nobody listened to me, we're going to be part of it. Does she know the reason for the meeting? Maybe an introduction with her. We are the leaders of the maidens that went to challenge Okite. Does that make any sense to you? Five years ago, when I spotted that woman in our land, I knew. I just knew that she was evil. Now, I may not know just how evil or dangerous she may be. I certainly know she has no good influence on our land. Use us. Use us anyhow you want. We, the maidens of this land, we stand for peace, prosperity, happiness, and unity. And all of these have eluded us all these years because of that woman. And it breaks our hearts. They may be of help. Yes. Nothing eludes me. Nothing gets me worried. I am always, always on top of my game. Nothing confuses me. Why does it look like I'm worried over this? Why does it look like I'm worried over this? No one no, no, has had no, anything no, about the meaning of the other person. I know no, we are expecting none less than success. Soon, the new king will emerge. No. I should not be part of that nobody that he talked about. I should know what is going on. They are supposed to be having problems with their choice of a king now. They are supposed to have been at war at this time. This is supposed to be the time that Ezem Majaka should come in. My mission is supposed to be coming to an end now. Oh. It is almost night. You know where it's from? 
Does it mean our plan is not working out? No. I have waited all these years to put these people where they belong. I cannot think of failure now. No. I have waited all these years to put a do where I want them to be. Ugo, you and your goddess, you cannot fail me. Ugo, Ugo, you and your goddess, both of you cannot afford to fail me. My, my, my king, <laughs> my king, I bow in greetings, my king. Have you seen Ugo lately? Yes, I, I, I met with her and she sent me with a message to you. How is our plan coming out? Oh, positive, my king. Uh, she just said uh, you should just give her you know, just two more days. She will deliver the people of you into your hands. <laughs> mm. Yes. You will live long too. <laughs> Why must I be the one to do this? Are you the one asking this? Last time I checked, you were the one that wanted her out of this kingdom. Yeah, but not this way. Which way? Zidamaka, which way? Listen, we don't have time, okay? If we must do this, then we must do it now. Hmm? I must do this, you mean? Do it. Be the hero. She knows so. I'm okay. Both of you have men that visit her place too. Why must it be Nduka? <laughs> because none of our so-called men is as close to her as your own man is. Mm -hmm. Now move it. Oh, I vowed never to talk to him again. Let them not make him think I still have interest in him. Ndijamaka. <laughs> You're not doing this for yourself, my friend. You are doing this for Idu. Now go, go, go. I am helpless and you know it. I do not read their minds, nor do I monitor their meetings. I rely on you and my portion. I know all that. I do not even know the outcome of the meeting. None of those men has come to me as expected. I had to send a false message back to the king so he doesn't panic. I, are you still here? I see no one as well. The antidote that is the only power that can blow my vision. Did anyone bring it into the kingdom? But that's not possible because they do not even know who I am. Be calm, child. I shall come back to you when I have answers. But the rest are assured that I can accept nothing but a victory. Victory for you. Victory for the king that made me human sacrifice. Do not panic, for I am always with you. not possible. The antidote cannot get to we do. You're not feeling fever. 
So I don't know what must have cost you or pushed you to come here and be permitting this nonsense. Are you drunk? Me? In Omanya? Luka, I can't believe that you are calling me a drunk. Probably my living you must have cost you to become a drunk. Luka, listen. I am not here because I want you back. I am here because the survival of this kingdom, our kingdom, lies in your hands. Not exactly, but your help will be appreciated. You just have to help us to, to stop that woman from carrying up her evil plans. She's not what you think she is. Then go back and tell those that sent you that I cannot help to provide a deviant that will cure their madness. They are not mad. Ndoka, you are. You and every other man in this kingdom. She has been feeding you with some kind of potion that has some elements of witchcraft. That is why all our men, including you, have lost their minds. How much were you paid to do this? Ndoka, I urge you to free your thought and think. She is using her evil field to weaken the leadership and progressive mechanism that made you do great. You're making a wild allegation here, you know. I will ask why Abanabo when I go to her place to eat tomorrow. I will ask her. Luka! Shoot yourself! Did you go? How do you expect it to go? Ndoka has finally lost it. Nobody can talk sense into him anymore. Did you try to say anything to him at all? Yes, I did. I told him everything I know about that woman. But he won't even allow me to say a word about our plans. So, so, you just left? He said nothing? <laughs> yes. He actually said something. Uh -huh. mm. He said that he will ask her when he goes there to eat tomorrow. Kiri! Oh. Ikamaka. And you walked out just like that. Excuse me. What was I supposed to do? Ha! Go in there and lie down. She knows so. I'm okay. Okay. Look at this cost me. And if being part of this. In terms going back to him, then count me out. Hey, we can't allow him go to her with that information. It's dangerous now. Mm -hmm. If that message would bother her, I think by now she would have killed everybody. Remember that our fathers would have given her the same message after the meeting yesterday. I don't think. I don't think they are as stupid as Ndaka, who I am very sure will definitely tell her like he promised. I was worried when none of you showed up. You understand our practice in our world. You have no reason to be worried in our land. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't worried about me. I heard you were supposed to choose a king yesterday. Obviously, that didn't happen. That got you worried? Even our women are less consigned about it. I want the best for this kingdom. I know how occasions like that can turn into war. Oh, no, 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 not at all. We are glad you love our kingdom this way. As per yesterday's occasion, yes, we had some issues, but we will resolve it. 
What kind of issues, please? Mbonani is a trusted man. He was supposed to do the right thing. He was supposed to lead you to the new king. Before yesterday, we spoke and he assured me that he was going to do the right thing. <laughs> uh, Nani, I just gave you food and you're leaving immediately. Why? See, see, I cannot wait to go home and have this food. I am famished. Then why not sit and eat? And why have you been insisting on taking your food home lately? See, I am not just another man of doom. I shouldn't be eating outside. But since I cannot resist your food, I have to continue improvising. Uh, uh, wait, Bonani. Talking about who you are, what are we expecting tomorrow? Ha! Everything that will make everyone happy, especially our visitors. The new king will be the one that among all things will love our visitors and open our land to others. Unlike our last king uh, who, who, that was too protective. We don't want to lose someone like you. Cambia manager your phone number. Yes, he assured me that everything would be fine. It is not what we cannot handle. It is just that the son of our late king has him on his arm. He wants to be the king. Bonan <laughs> is ready to do anything to support him, including trying to blackmail him. What? Not you. Not you exactly. I know he wanted to say blackmail the kingmakers. Not you. Yes. <laughs> the kingmakers. They try to blackmail us. But we have it under control. I'll get you your usual. Okay. Who do you do it? He had a little sense left in him before the evil woman took it away. It not... No offense to you, my friend. Oh, Why should I be offended? Of course I'm not. So now that you maidens failed at your first task, what is left? But well, please, can we do this without involving Endoka? I mean, like Amoge said, there's no sense left in him. So what would we want to do with somebody like that? Uh, unfortunately, he is the only one we can use. He is the closest to her. Maidens, whatever happens, do not let him go to her tomorrow. We must do this silently. What do we do? Tie him down? Exactly what I was thinking about. I don't see how doing that supports that we have to do this silently. Maybe you should listen to my plan first then.
I think we have him. I hope so. I hope so too. Eh? So, this is what has been happening to you and every other man in this land, apart from Abodike. I don't understand. If Okite was evil, then why didn't we know? Especially you, Bonani. You're supposed to be a seer. When I was talking about her powers, I was not just talking about any kind of powers. Her powers can destroy even the strongest Bibia. <laughs> so what am I expected to do? Oh, and what makes you think I can defeat her? Because you are the closest to her among the men. Two things can bring her down forever. The first will take her goddess, the source of her powers away from her. And the second will help you achieve the first. Since she's about this kingdom, I'll do anything. We don't need to experience what our forefathers have experienced in the hands of our Abanabo people. The antidote. The same antidote that cleared your system of her food is her weakness. Find a way of giving it to her and take the woman in her. What? Yes. Take the woman in her. I'm sure you've dreamt about it all your life. It is possible you have even done it once with her. So. Do it again and save our land. No, I don't think so. I don't think he has done it. Because no man can ordinarily sleep with her. That will strip her of her powers. And now, he is equipped to do that. It has to be this night. The ball is in your court. Ndoka, why are you here? I got an information concerning the Merging King, so I came to give it to you first. Um, I... Yes. I brought this special wine for us. And I wish to spend the night in your company. Oh, just go away with your lust. Now, tell me. Tell me all you know about the emerging king. <sighs> it was a long wait. I thought you would never see the woman in me. You've succeeded finally. <laughs> How did you do that? I told you you liked the wine. There's a new one in town. Yes. I like the taste. I wish I could drink it every day. Ok, 
Okite! Okite! And I can see that you have arrived here earlier than myself. I'm on my way out. Luca, yeah? where is Okita? And what were you doing inside her hut? I believe you hear the story in a more ceremonial way. Of course, Ndoka succeeded. He made her drink the special wine that has the antidote and then slept with her all through the night. here last night. How could he have taken ill? Well, he said we should carry on without him. He wishes not to show his face again. So what do we do now? Can you be trusted? Did you actually sleep with her? Were you not the one that fortified the decanter? We should be talking about what awaits me here since I've slept with her. Did Uba could tell you the cause of his illness? Is she attacking him now? Abuanabo has absolutely no powers over the people of Abuanabo. Why didn't I see this coming? Oh, 
Okite, come out, please. It is me. The Umozo. Maduka and I is here. Tell her we are waiting for the food. Okite. Ah. Maybe we should go in and see if she's still there. Nobody move in here. I have been waiting since morning and she refuses to talk to us. Even you, all of you, Lindsay, you're a married man and you've been here since morning. For what? To eat from another woman's pot? I never trusted you ever since you left for your mother's place. Who knows? What have you done to this innocent woman? The question is not what I have done to her. The question is what she has done to you and all the other men of the Du Kingdom. They are Ekus Dikwana. Ekus Dikwana, na unwa anya ane isi nita. Inugo? Abodike, are you with your senses? And leave. Hide anything from me and you are dead. The choice is yours. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> The choice is yours. What is chasing you? And why must he chase you into my compound? Taking Okite to the village square. What does that mean? Okay, let me collect. You don't want to return to your king, Ekot, do you? Tell these people here what you really are and your mission. Really do. Huh? What kind of madness is this, Bonani? And why are you harassing an innocent woman? Our people, this is Okite, a beautiful woman from Iwe. I came to our land to cook. Not just a very good cook. Yes, Oku Kuburawe. Not just a cook. Okite here remains the best cook we have ever seen. Best cook, just to get best one. Nani Sigini, best cook. Can you honor me? Now go and free her. Go and set her free. Go and free her! You know what this is, right? Now, start speaking or else I will hold it to your face until you die! Speak! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, it's true! It's true, it's true! Speak! I am not from Iwe Titi. Hey. I am, I am from Abanabo. Hey. Oh. I am, I am a descendant of 
Why him delegate Allah? Hey, hey. The goddess of the forest and sea. I was I was sent by Ezembajaka. He he empowered me with the secret staff of Abanabo. My mission. My, my mission was to weaken the minds of men of Idu. I was supposed to make them useless to the point where they are willing to submit to Ezembajaka. in doing that I made the portion they ate from the eggs of vultures and, <laughs> and chameleon <laughs> and the sweat in between my thighs <laughs> I served you look, look at what you are eating I put them in the foods. They ate. Men of the Du Kingdom, you have seen the innocent woman that you welcomed with open arms. Have you seen her? And some of you even left your women for. in the mission you sent her on. Or maybe not. You will have to ask her. No. Meanwhile, keep away from her kingdom. Well, maybe you don't have to keep away. But be careful. Watch your every move. Because from today hands, we have our eyes. DJ, one on How did this happen? The antidote was brought in into it. Someone from here did. How is that possible? <laughs> the antidote of Abanabo find it its way to the two kingdom. How is that possible? Mr. Obama, <laughs> you are laughing. Why are you laughing? Are you in any way connected with this? Mm. What did you do? Mm. Majaka. You desecrated the sacred staff of Abanapo when you empowered the woman to go weaken a people the gods made strong. A people are forefathers. Give freedom. A people are forefathers liberated are the people you plan to bring under bondage. Majiaka, you are no longer worthy to be on this throne. So I urge you to step down and give it up now. Da! Da! Are you talking to me? Yes. How dare you? 
you are talking to our own king I, I, like I, I, that. I, 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 How dare you? Ibi Bangus, shut up and stay out of this. You psychopath. He was the first to challenge the gods and our ancestors by planning to criminally upturn that which they set up. The gods have turned their backs on this man. They are no longer with him. And I, I urge you to watch your movement. Retrace your steps. Is your back? You deserve nothing. Death. Ibangus, eh? the secret staff of Habanabo is too elevated in our history to be dragged in the mud. If you know you are not part of this evil conspiracy, pick up the staff. You will not pick it up. On this second day, immediately after we've been delivered and sanctified from the evil portion of Ugoa Banabo, we have come before thee, O greatest and as fine of Idu kingdom, to once again register our legends. It has become clear with us, we allowed ourselves to be fooled by Igwe Mbajaka of Abanabo, the same king you fought all your life to keep away from the two kingdom. We are sorry to have failed to continue from where you stopped. And we all are standing before your resting place to say we are sorry for we have betrayed you. We have come before thee on this special occasion, standing by your resting place to decree that never again shall the elders of Udu Kingdom take any decision without inquiries. We have decided to crown your son, Abodike, the king of Udu Kingdom. We are asking you rise in your might and take Udu to where it should be. Forgive and bless us on Eke Day. Forgive and bless us on Uko Day. Forgive and bless us on Afro Day. And forgive and bless us on Uri Day.
In due land it shall be like tomorrow, for tomorrow has no end. It shall be well with our land. He say, it shall be well with our land. He say, it shall be well with our land. He say, it shall be well with our land. He say, he do quenu, 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 History has once again repeated itself. Men are nothing without the gods. When men elect to move without their ancestors, they move into confusion. We have found healing in a due kingdom. And that healing will stay with us forever. It is a new dawn in a due. Let us come together Walk together and rebuild Idu Kingdom. Idu, Idu, Kwano, Kwano, Kwano. Idu, Kwano. He's on. 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 Your phone. Your phone. Your phone. me? Of course I do. You are Ogo, the maiden of our land that has a goddess. Good. Your father stole something from the palace. The almighty staff of Abanabo. I am here to retrieve it. My father is not a thief. Do not attempt to defend your evil father before me. For me it was that started this evil process that finally killed the king and triggered the anger of my goddess. Get in there and get some stuff. Or I'll kill you. Get going! 